Hello from Sholo, Arizona, USA. It's a beautiful September day, about 79 degrees Fahrenheit. What is it? 61? No, 26 <laughs> um, Celsius, I think. Anyway, today I'm going to show you how to use pouring paint to make wine glasses. You see on one side, that's how I dipped it. But it turns out this way when people look at it. I did these, this one, by making coasters for them and dipping them on the coaster and taking them off. I really don't need any more coasters. My friend was over for a glass of wine and she said this was neat and loved it, but wouldn't it be even better to have them different colors so people would know which one was theirs? So that's what we're going to do. Let me set this aside. I have this piece of concrete here on a Lazy Susan because I need to have something hard to push the wine glasses on. This is an inexpensive canvas which was very loose. The trick you want to do if you have a loose canvas <laughs> is to spray it with water on the back and let it dry for about 24 hours and then you'll have a really pretty tight canvas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with pouring paint. I am actually not at my home. I'm at a cabin and I didn't want to bring a whole lot of stuff so I brought paint that's already made for pouring. And I'm going to simply put down a little pillow, if you will, of white on this part of the canvas. And then I am going to do different color combinations for the wine glasses. So this one will be red, white, and blue. So I'm taking these little cups that you use usually in the bathroom and I'm pouring down the side and I'm pouring equal amounts of just red and blue with the white already there. And then I'm going to Pour it right onto the white and see what I get. Well, this is not the traditional way of pouring, I'm aware of that. But I wanted to see what I could come up with. The wine glasses, you are going to want to mask off. I used simply uh, bags from a grocery store and then taped the bottoms except for, of course, where I'm going to dip it. So I'm going to dip it and see what I get. You won't know what it looks like until it dries on the other side, but that looks like it worked pretty well. Not much white in there. Interesting. So maybe I will try for the next one. Let's do blue, yellow, and white. I'm going to start with yellow. And I'm sorry I don't have better camera angles than only this one because, again, I'm not at home. So, oops, joy. So, I'm using what I have. And I'm putting a little bit of white in between each layer this time just to see if that helps. Eventually, I'll have the links to these paints and other things that I use on my channel, but right now, I do not have enough subscribers to make money from doing that. So now let's do it more the traditional way. I'm just going to plop it down, pick it up, let it do its thing. All right, I have to... 
This is another reason you mask it. Okay. Is that going to stay? No. I'll move it that way. There we go. So I can dip. And that's what it looks like on the bottom. Again, we'll see what they look like when they dry. It's going to be a little bit of a crapshoot. Okay, so now we've done red and white. We have not done... Uh, I mean, we've done red, white, and blue. We haven't done red and yellow, so let's do that. A little bit of red. A little bit of white. And yellow. And then I'll add some more white. Red. White. And yellow. If these turn out well, I'm going to give them to my friend who suggested the different colors as a birthday present. If they don't turn out well, <laughs> I'll probably sell them. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Flip. And let it do its thing. Yeah, that's better. If you can get some of those in there, I bet it will look cooler. There we go. Nice. All right, let's see what we get. Oops. I don't know if it sticks so well to close. Okay. it up. Not bad. Now this time I am going to use all three of the primary colors as well as white. Eh, yeah, I'll start with red again. Um, I hardly ever buy pre-mixed paints. I buy just the primary colors and white, and then you can make any colors you want. Um, you'll notice that I didn't put white in between each layer. I want to try between all three layers, just for the sake of fun. Ooh, and I'm not doing it in the same order, so that might be interesting too. Let's do it in the opposite order, see what happens. Why not? Actually, I don't think I'm going to put white on top because I don't want that in the on top part. So, here we go. Dump it. And swirl that around a little so that I get. And the beautiful thing about pouring paint, it doesn't matter what you get all over your canvas because you're going to end up moving it around. Okay, now this one lost some of its tape, which is okay for right now, but later when I'm sealing it, I'm going to want to put the tape back on. Here we go. And I always look for the place that has the most color to try to get something pretty. I will let these dry probably 48 hours before I try to um, seal them. And I will show you all about sealing them too. I'm going to Move the paint a little bit just to see what we get. I may have to add some white. And it is moving, just not great. So let's add some white to give it a chance to move. You don't have to worry about the sides too much because you can always use your finger or a tongue depressor thingy to get it to do what you want. That white is extremely thick. It's a different consistency than the colors. But it is, sorry I should do it that way, it is starting to move some. There we go. I'm gonna get that a little bit. Come on, it's a white spot on the canvas still right there. So, 
trying to get that. I'm trying to get it to pour over the side some. I didn't tape the bottoms like I usually do. This is such a cheap canvas. Whoops. But if the wine glasses work out well, I will give my friend this painting as well, just because I can. Ah, just needs a little bit more paint right in here. I'm going to add color just to see if it helps. That white is so thick. There we go. It's ridiculous. I think they'd make it the same consistency, but they do not. You can always touch it up. Okay, so now I'm going to put it right in the middle. Here's what it looks like so far. Okay, I'm not expecting cells. I don't have a heat gun with me or a torch. I personally don't use a torch because I'm scared to death I'll burn the house down. Um, so bear with me. Okay, I've taken a spray paint can lid and put bubble wrap around it because I don't have a balloon here. <laughs> Silly me. So let's see what we can get. Well, it's different. I'm just going to wipe it on my apron and then do it again. down. This time I'm going to swirl it a little. Mm. Eh, I don't like that. Okay. Try to do it here. Interesting. Huh. Again, sorry about the tripod where I've got bubbles trying to form. It's probably not good, but again, I don't have a heat gun. So again, I'm just wiping this off literally on my apron. Do one right here, corner. Well, it's different, but it's okay. Sometimes different is nice. I don't like that little blotch of paint that slips, so I'm going to do that. Hmm, yeah, I think it might be enough, although there's some paint over here that's slobbered, which I'm not too thrilled with, so I might do it right here. And one more time. Just because I can. Let me look at that and see what I think. Eh, I like it. I like it. It's a little bit of white and negative space is a good thing. Probably. Let's see. Oh, I'm gonna one more time just to give it some texture. Yeah, I like it. All right, I will show you how I am going to seal everything in about two days. Of course, for you, it'll be about two seconds. Hello. It is about 72 hours later, not 48, because it was so windy yesterday, I really couldn't have possibly sprayed these to finish them off. I will place a slide with these two cans pictured on it and uh, explain what I did on this slide as well. But this is the best UV protection I have found. It is phenomenal. It's also extremely expensive, but it works. I put two coats on 
first of this. I sprayed the first one, waited 15 minutes, sprayed the second one, waited two hours, and then this finishing coat, uh, same thing, sprayed the first one, waited 15 minutes, sprayed the second one, and now I'm going to let it dry for a good week before I really uh, put it down on them, on the, you know, table or what have you. This is also a spray gun. This thing is fantastic. A bunch of different companies make them. This is a small one because I have a little hand, but it sprays so much more evenly, and I have arthritis in my hand, so that really helps me. Okay, great reveal. Oh, also, I have asthma. <laughs> Joy. So I have a respirator as well because I work with alcohol ink too, but whenever I spray anything, I wear the respirator even outside, just because, you know, you only get one set of lungs. So here we go, the great reveal. I don't know how long this will take, so I may pause it and show you. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, here's how they look on the bottoms, which most people won't see. And let me flip them over. Chime. And then when you have a party, people will have their own unique glass so they will know which one is theirs. Okay, I would not wash these in a dishwasher. I know that Mod Podge has dishwasher safe. I've been told it takes two months for it to dry. But definitely hand wash these. All right. Thanks again for watching and please subscribe. Oh, and like too. That'd be great. <laughs> and here's how the painting ended up. I like it quite a lot. If I were to do this again, I would make quite a few more glasses, I think, because there's quite a bit of paint there. I can zoom in if you want. You can see the paint is quite thick. But I like the patterns. And a few cells actually did appear. I think that's about it. Yeah.